veganism, the alkaline diet, the Bible, and the sacred secretion. A healthy body is incredibly efficient at keeping our pH levels normal, 7.35 to 7.45. And it's at this normal level that our cells can function properly. Above 7.45, the body will be in metabolic alkalosis. Below 7.35, the body will be in a state of metabolic acidosis. The acidity and alkalinity of our food affects our vital organs, brains, hearts, etc. and blood massively. It affects them by raising and lowering the body's natural pH levels. The sacred secretion received from God by the claustrum follows part of the same path through our bodies or temples as our blood meaning that diet can and does affect spirituality and our personal relationship with our Creator, Lord God, Light of the World. Ray Udin for Livestrong.com says, Unusually high acid levels in your body may prevent your vital organs from receiving the life-sustaining oxygen in the blood they need. Other symptoms of acidosis are headaches, lethargy, weakness, fatigue, breathing difficulties, confusion and anxiety. The Bible teaches us that it is paramount to have healthy blood because our blood affects our entire physiological system. Leviticus 14.17 For the life of all flesh is in the blood. And James 2.14 tells us that faith without works is is dead. Therefore there is no point in praying and believing without putting in the work that is required to complement our faith. Part of this work is to honour our amazingly crafted, fearfully and wonderfully made, God-given bodies and keep them functioning at their optimum capacity. Wouldn't it be nice to live as long as Noah? It is the kidney that filters excess acid out of the body through urine. So you can imagine how hard the poor kidney must have to work if our diets are extremely acidic. Although our bodies are brilliantly designed by God to regulate our pH for us, it is up to us to assist it by honouring our bodies with clean alkaline producing foods. Preventing pH imbalance, veganism. Due to prominent levels of acidity in animal products, our body will naturally be more balanced when following a vegan diet. Genesis 1.30 explains how God intended for all living creatures to use plants for meat. To every beast and to every fowl of the air and to everything that creeps upon the earth, behold... We will give them life and we will give to them every green herb for meat and all these things shall be thus organised. Interestingly, etymology teaches us that the original word for meat, mete, only ever meant food or item of food. It wasn't until later that the word meat's meaning was narrowed to be used for flesh used for food. So meat in the Bible does not necessarily mean flesh at all. The Daniel fast is renowned by Christians as a way to honour God and complement our prayers. Today we see the Daniel fast as a vegan diet. We may not all do it for the same reasons but it is the same concept nonetheless. The Daniel fast kept the metaphorical lions at bay and brought Daniel closer to God. Daniel 1.17 says, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. In Isaiah 11.6 we are told that the wolf will romp with the lamb, the leopard sleep with the kid, calf and lion will eat from the same trough. 
Is this quote predicting that eventually all humans will be vegetarians and that every species will live together in peace and harmony as God intended? Body alkalizing water. A wonderful way to assist the body in the preservation of the sacred secretion, purifying our bodies and keeping our pH levels neutral, is by drinking water that is infused with alkalizing foods, making it more like the water that God originally created for us. Untouched water in its natural state is high alkaline, usually pH 9 plus, and it is rich in mi minerals. God created the water like this for a reason, to restore and regenerate our bodies with oxygen and minerals. Since the water that is available to us today has been highly processed, it is extremely hard to access water with a pH of 9 plus. So after a lot of reading and experimenting, I now use a combination of lemon, ginger, cinnamon and pink Himalayan salt in my water. Why lemon? Lemon is a strong antioxidant and immune system booster. Lemons are amniotic producing alkaline byproducts when metabolized, complementing your body's wonderful design. Purifying the kidneys with lemon helps to ensure a consistent balance in the pH, therefore preserving the sacred secretion. The scent of lemon releases pheromones and oxytocin, helping spiritual health by promote, promoting peace and love within ourselves. Why cinnamon? Cinnamon improves the hormone insulin's sensitivity. The insulin hormone secreted by the pancreas signals the cells to absorb sugar, which helps the body regain a normal pH thus preserving the sacred secretion. The astrological properties of cinnamon show that it's of the fire element, the sun planet and the Leo zodiac, meaning spiritually that it promotes protection, success and strength. Why ginger? Ginger stimulates the circulation. Ginger releases anger, resentment, envy and frustration via the adrenal glands in the solar plexus. Ginger promotes a strong circulatory system which is vital in preserving and raising the sacred secretion. Ginger clears the encrine glands and helps your body to carry nutrients to the places that need healing the most. And lastly, pink Himalayan salt. If you can bear the flavour of adding a pinch of pink Himalayan salt to your water, then that is the real secret weapon toward raising the sacred secretion and seeing God face to face at Peniel, Genesis 32.30. Because it has the ability to raise our bioelectrical frequency. Everything is vibrational. Galilee. Galilee meaning rolling, turning, circuit, energy or vibration. Proverbs 3.8 Your body will glow with health. Your very bones will vibrate with life. We are ethereal, abundant spirit beings with a bioelectrical aura, Taurus field. Psalm 19.6 His going forth is from the extremity of heaven and his circuit to the other end of heaven. No one shall be hidden from this heat. Himalayan pink salt contains safe, God-intended levels of iodine, which increases the body's bioelectrical vibration. A healthy vibration assists the body's seven energy centers chakras or seals in getting the sacred secretion up the 33 vertebrae 33 years of Christ to the thalamus light of the world helping us to see who we really are just one gram of Himalayan pink salt can provide the body with 77 micrograms of iodine deficient iodine levels can wreak havoc on our bodies 
including causing cancer development and growth. I would like to conclude this by saying that I fully believe that our relationship and closeness to God is affected more by our willingness to spend time with God in passionate prayer, meditation or listening, praise or gratitude and seeking to fully understand the word than it is by our diets. But that diet and exercise are also paramount to following Christ's example and raising the sacred secretion. 1 Corinthians 6.20 For ye are bought, brought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the like and subscribe buttons and feel free to leave comments and questions.